Hello ladies and gentlemen, so welcome back to the roundtable. My name is Magjanite, and in today's video, I really don't know what I want to do. As you can see in my inventory, I do have the diamond hoe and also the potatoes because we will be we're expanding our potato farm for another quadrant. Also, while you, you guys were away, I uh, we come over to our blacksmith over here. Well, it used to be a blacksmith. Automated furnaces and all that. Put what we want to cook or smelt up in this chest, coal in that chest, and it goes out in that chest. Basically done right there and then there. But as you can see, we do have an area out here that is prepared for us to till and then plant the uh, potatoes. But I was. Um, thinking what do I want to do for this episode because in the last episode I if I'm correct I did say that it might be an episode where we go to one of the end cities and try and get a, an elytra but I started thinking about that and I'm like it's gonna either be that or um netherite because I haven't gone and searched for netherite yet, and that's just in the nether, so instead of sitting here con contemplating which one sounds better, or which one would be better, I'm gonna pull my phone out after I'm done planting all these potatoes and stuff, and I'm gonna create a wheel that is basically gonna decide what we do. The wheel is gonna have either finding an end city with an elytra and stuff, or go to um, nether and get in, get netherite so that way we can actually start getting netherite tools. But that'll be all up to what a computer program or an app program is gonna really want us to do. So, but other than that, I mean, no matter what we do in this episode, if we do go to the uh, end to get uh, an elytra. What I want to do really is I want to actually I want to give me a second to think. I want to um, kill enough shulkers so that we can get shulker boxes so that way our inventory can be a lot expand a lot more because a for those of you that don't know a shulker box is basically a chest like a single chest that you can carry with you and when you break it nothing sp uh, spews out of it it stays all in the chest basically and you can carry it anywhere you want you can open it anywhere you want it's not an ender chest basically um because an ender chest you need silk touch and what is he doing here no one invited you what are you doing here Bark coral, white dye, no fern, nope, nope, nope. Give me a second. I'm not supposed to be here. Um, but yeah. So, I want to just quickly finish this up. Trash. Don't spit at me. They were trash. They deserved it. <laughs> no wandering villagers. Travelers. Whatever you want to call them. None of them. They don't deserve it. But, let me go ahead and quickly put all the stuff up that I just got. So, Fernan gets that. I guess that. Potatoes. I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna say that much. But, as it's getting smelted and stuff, I'm gonna get the wheel set up, and once it's all smelted, I will come back to when I have started to spin the wheel. But also, a quick example you open that, you put them in there, 
You can see that's going down. You see that's lit up. They're going in there, and then they're going to go in there. But other than that, I'll come back whenever I have that wheel set up and all that. Okay, so we got all that done here. And as you can see, I uh, there. all you got to do is go to Google, and there is an app here called Wheel Decide. And so basically, you can modify it. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just telling you how to do it. You modify it. You add in whatever choices you want. And then you spin it. And let's see what it lands on. And say you're another. Looks like we are going to get another right. So let's get rid of that. And let's go get some another right, people. So let's just drop off our hoe. I don't want to take that with us. Our pick, for sure, we will be taking. Water, there's no reason to take water. It's just gonna. Eh, I'll keep that on me. Uh, need to go respawn on arrows. So yeah. So let's go ahead and get restocked on arrows. So I'll come back when I have all that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. We have stacking forty six arrows. So let's just go ahead and I did uh, village proof this just in case when we do get our villagers back here. But all you gotta do is hop in like that, close that, hop right in. So basically, netherite spawns at, I want to say it's Y20 or below in the nether. So what we want to do is we want to get to the deepest part. Right now we're at 68, so we got to go down. So I'll meet you guys down at, I want to say, they say between 20 and 8. I'm going to go all the way down to at least 10. I'll be out. I'll see you guys when I hit at least Y10 in the nether. See you guys then. Okay, we are back. As you can see here, it's a long tunnel, and I decided to go down to 8 to see it. But if you want to see how fast this mines netherrack, oh my gosh, it is an amazing pick. And netherite is a hard... Well, it's not netherite. Now it would be, uh, it would be, uh, ancient debris. It is a hard material to find in the nether, in the nether here. So basically, I will come back when I have that found. I might dig a long tunnel this way. Who knows what I'm gonna do until I find it. So. I will come back when I have found some ancient debris. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. I have finally found some ancient debris. Is it just going to be one? No. Oh, oh no. It's not just one. Two. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that. So if I'm correct, these these will only smelt down into one netherite scrap and you need four netherite scrap and four gold to make um, a netherite ingot and another and one netherite ingot to combine with a diamond tool or diamond armor to create netherite armor or tool so I have two of them so I'm gonna need one two three four well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingots. Seven times four is, uh, give me a second, 28. So I'm going to need 28 ancient debris here. So I'll keep going until I, I'll come back at the 14, having 14. So that way you guys can see the progression of my tunnels. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. At our halfway mark, we have 14. We need 14 more. As you can tell, down there it's a little more messier, but my tactics have changed up a bit. I'm not going for clean, neat trials, I mean, trails. I'm going for sporadic, like that. Clear out faster and hope so that way I also don't break those as well. Hoping that when I do this one of the ancient debris will be sitting waiting for me out in the open but other than that I'll come back 
right before I mine the last one I need. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we are on the last race. We are at 27, and this will make it 28. I had moved on to a new technique, which was drilling and basically going sideways. You'll see I have destroyed total areas to do this. And as you can tell, I've killed those guys so many times with my bow. I don't want to fight, I just want to run. As you can see, tons of areas just destroyed. But I'll meet you guys up top and start smelting these ancient debris.